Hi guys, it's Bly, and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. To start the video, I have two things. One, my first video was really well received, at least in my eyes. With about 500 views and 20 gained subscribers, to somebody else that might not be a lot, but to me, it is. So thank you. And two, the trouble with my microphone quality might be figured out. So this is what it sounds like with no blanket. This is what it sounds like with blanket. It, you, can, you can hear everything. All right, I won't ramble on for too much longer. Now let's start the video. We begin where we left off. With a giant hamster stuck on our roof, we send our only squad to go beat it up. It takes a little bit, but we get it. And again, I forgot to trade with the elves. I swear they're never gonna come back. I'm sorry, guys. And look, more death in the fortress. There's always something dangerous happening here at the Chaos of Fortune. Let's send our squad to go take care of these boars as well. Everyone keeps getting injured from all the wild animals running around, causing a ruckus. Look at Cyania. She has an infection. And although we're able to take care of some of the wild animals... Uh-oh. Oh yeah. I was recording this at twitch.tv slash blybly. If you ever want to come hang out and chat and look at my shitty green screen, the link is in the description below. So anyways, we create a burrow and put all of our citizens in. And we expand our tomb just a little bit more. After finishing those tombs, we receive another migration wave, taking us from 16 dwarves to a whopping 38 dwarves. After all the carnage and recent injuries that my dwarves have sustained, I decide to forge some iron armor for my squads. Especially after one of my viewers came in to ask about their favorite dwarf, Cheesy Wiz. Oh, Cheese Wiz, I hope you're still alive, buddy. Alright, yeah, he is. He's good. Uh, he is unconscious, though. What the hell happened to him? Ooh. Your farmer's doing just fine. Yeah, let's keep building up them tombs. At least we know the hospital's being used. On the bright side, if we take a look at our tavern, we can see that there's a dwarf here. His name is Dudok Scholar Lanterns. He's here to relax and ask some questions. Well, as our first customer, thank you. I do hope he'll spread some word about our tavern. To aid in our efforts to keep out the wild animals, we create walls to surround our fortress, all the way down to the shoreline. But not soon after, it happens. We lose Cheesy Wiz. He was always there to remind us that it ain't easy being cheesy. Rest in peace. Uh, come to find out, I forgot that I had that burrow on, so none of the dwarves were actually getting drinks, because they're all at the tavern. So, whoops. Uh, that one was probably on me. With the walls around our fortress finished being built, we start the foundation for our barracks. We also take a quick look at the world map, just to see where all the different civilizations are. That's a pretty cool world. Not soon after, we get a request from the Cyclopean Guild, which is a ranger guild, that they want a guild hall built in our fortress. We'll just add it to our list of projects. There's a lot going on here at the Chaos of Fortune, and my next plan is to add a basement to the bottom of our tavern. It's going to have windows facing out each side, so that no matter where you sit or drink in the tavern, you'll be able to see the fish all around you. For now, I'll have to place that project on the back burner. Because now we have traction benches for our hospital. Oh, and also, I think I ran into a bug. These guys right here were a trade caravan. But I think they were attacked by something while they were at my trading post. But for some reason, they just stay here. And I mean, they stay here for a while. And you'll see why it was kind of a blessing later down the line. With winter finally here, we start on the tavern project. I won't lie to you. I started out very ambitious. I thought I was going to be able to make a blast tunnel of some sort and connect it to the tavern. Uh, the way I started to carve it out, uh, it was not going to work. But at the time, I didn't know that. So it is what it is. We also lay down the groundwork for the Cyclopean Guild, our ranger guild. And we might as well build out the farmer's guild too, because it's inevitable. Because it's inevitable. It's inevitable. And with all those orders designated, we get the dwarves to work. And this is around the time that I found out that this was not going to work. So I took away all of that and instead started building a glass window wall. Oh wow, it does work. Now we can actually see the fish. And I think it's about time that we cover up the stone and dead wood at the bottom. Oh, and I almost forgot. I finally was able to trade with the elves. And I think we're just going to click through, make sure nothing is wood. And, oh, well, whatever. We don't need them. They're just elves. With the flooring coming in in our tavern, it's time to place some of these iron statues that we have. And soon after, the Hall of Rocks, the Fishery Worker Guild. Looks like they want a guild hall. But before we do that, let's admire our tavern. This bottom floor is amazing. You're able to sit down at all these chairs with some nice iron statues all around you. And best of all, you can see into the ocean and watch all the fish swim by. There appears to be some kidnappers in our fortress. 
Let's go take care of that. Oh my, oh my god. We must have caught this guy on a bad day. He is beating the hell out of this goblin. He punched it square in the face consecutively about like 12 times until he died. Let's give him an appropriate name, Iron Hands. Around this time I ended the stream, but because I'm extremely addicted to this game, I got back on and kept playing. Here's the Fishery Worker Guild. I like the design. Do you? And I finally got around to adding a second floor to our barracks. And here's how it looks with all of our soldiers. Also, I start to experiment with cage traps. I had this idea to capture some of the giant hamsters and maybe utilize them for our own. And with all three guild halls finally smoothed out, it seems like the chaos of fortune is on its way up. Okay. A giant by the name of Nanu Strongtook has wandered into our fields. All right, let's create a new burrow, name it safe, and put all the citizens in. Let's station our squad here. Let's see what happens. Oh, wait a minute. The guard from this caravan, the one that's been stuck here for, I don't know, maybe two years? Yeah, he's fighting the giant. I guess all the pent-up frustration and anger from being stuck in the chaos of fortune has really gotten to him. Oh, I guess I should send my squad to help him. Oh, the giant's already dead. Well, we deeply appreciate the help, and I bestow you the name Giant Bash. In an attempt to break the curse of our trade caravan that can't move, I deconstruct the trade depot, but it doesn't end up working. But we decide to build a new one here, down by the shore. And with everybody falling in the water constantly here at the Chaos of Fortune, we decide to wall in most of the dock. Then it happens. This is what I like to call the otter incident. Five agitated otters wandered into my fortress and in a fit of rage decided to shove four of my dwarves into the ocean. I ended up losing five dwarves, four of them drowned, and one mangled on the shore. And the very very worst part about this is the fact that if you go to the basement of our tavern that you can see all four dead dwarves at the bottom of the ocean. All right, let's build ourselves a couple more tomb rooms. And with all that happening, I decide to build a wall here at the southern shore. It's going to have a funnel system so that if anything tries to enter, it'll hit a cage trap. And with winter finally here, we can finally go down into the ice and retrieve those bodies so nobody has to look at them anymore. Oh, look. Goblins. Well, let's just go down here and make sure our... What is going on down here? Giant dingoes. Well, I guess we can use them to our advantage. Let's let the goblins come up and fight them. Let's have everybody retreat to the safe burrow. And we'll rename it to something... More well-deserved. We'll station our squad here, and let's see what happens. I think that dingo got a couple licks in. Oh, and here they come. And everybody's in a giant ball on the ground. Holy cow. Ah, and here comes the rest of them. I think we sustained a lot of heavy injuries. But hey, we defeated them, and that's what matters. Oh, except for this one guy. I guess he's having a tussle over here with the giant hamster. How about we go ahead and help him out? Oh, oh my gosh. Well, that takes care of that. Well, at least we gained one thing out of that. Giant dingoes, I guess. After a little bit of research, I saw that you can train wild animals while they're still in the cages. So I set someone up to train them. Oh, and we make uh, a little bit more room in our tombs. Oh, but hey, look at that. We now know a few facts about giant dingo training. I guess uh, the Chaos of Fortune know how to train big dogs now. Oh, would you look at that? It does say they're trained. Let's let them out of the cage and see what happens. Look at them go. He's just running around the fort. We'll let his friend out too. Oh no my gosh, they're actually running around together on the fort. With so many injuries piling up in our hospitals and another dingo attack, we finally make it to the year 104. And I'm gonna be honest, I thought this was the best time for me to retire. Because one, I wanted this fort to keep going. I didn't want it to eventually fall apart. I want to be able to come back later and check back up on the tavern. And right now, I don't think I am the best suited person to run this place. But I feel like I completed all my goals. Which mainly was to create a Booty Bay themed fortress that was ran by dwarves that were pretty damn crazy. And a sea tavern with a bottom floor that looks out into the bottom of the ocean. Seriously, I had a lot of fun doing this. And if you guys really like this series, make sure to give it a like and comment down below. In the next coming days, I'll be streaming another series in the same world on twitch.tv slash blyblye. Link in the description below. So come hang out and give me some advice too. I really need it. I can even name a dwarf after you. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one. <laughs>